Different asthma triggers can worsen asthma symptoms. Some asthma triggers include exercise, infections, pests, environmental changes, and strong emotions. Here are some tips to help limit or avoid exposure. For exercise or other forms of physical activity, talk with your doctor about using a quick reliever medicine and before or during an activity, start slow, warm up, take breaks as needed, and breathe through your nose. For infections, get a flu shot every year, get a COVID-19 shot if you're eligible to get one, keep your mind and body healthy with enough exercise and sleep, wash your hands regularly, and keep a distance from those who may be sick. For pests, this might include cockroaches, dust mites, or other rodents. Keep your space clean by clearing food, crumbs, drinks, or spills. Store food in airtight containers. Vacuum regularly, especially if there's cockroach bodies around. Fill holes in walls or floors with copper wool to limit rodents or other pests from entering the home. And use baits or traps instead of sprays or foggers. For environmental changes, prepare and dress for the weather before you leave your home. When it's cold, breathe through your nose and cover it with either a mask or scarf. Be mindful of changes in the season as well. This may be high temperatures or extra pollen in the air. Try to stay indoors on days when air pollution is at high or unhealthy levels as well. For emotions, this may include stress, crying, and laughing, which makes you breathe faster. Practice healthy habits to reduce stress and avoid stressful situations. And use relaxation exercises and techniques. For example, keeping calm with slow belly breathing and relaxing your shoulders and neck muscles. A few other asthma triggers are tobacco use, cleaning products, and scented products. For tobacco use, make a plan to quit smoking, ask others not to smoke near you, use non-smoking areas in public spaces, and avoid homes or cars where people smoke when possible. For cleaning products, avoid areas or products with strong smells when possible, use unscented products, and use a fan when you must be near a strong odor. For scented products, this may include perfumes, deodorants, lotions, hairsprays, air fresheners, and even candles. Choose personal care products that are odor and fragrance free and allow fresh air into your home as often as you can. All smoke, including wood smoke, fire, and tobacco smoke can irritate the airways, which can lead to an asthma attack. Particles from secondhand smoke may be left on clothing and furniture, and this can irritate the lungs of those with asthma. It's also important to keep in mind that smoke within a home can cause more asthma attacks in children. And did you know, tobacco smoke contains harmful chemicals. Chemicals found in tobacco smoke have also been found in deadly poisons, dead tissue preservative, nail polish remover, wood alcohol, torch fuel, and house cleaner. Talk to your doctor or nurse if you have any concerns. To stay healthy, consider quitting the use of vapes, marijuana, tobacco, smokeless tobacco, or chew. If you're looking for help to stop smoking, check out these services from Kick It California. These quit services are free. Give them a call to speak with a coach. You can also use the chat line or text quit smoking or quit vaping. You can also check out their mobile apps, No Buds and No Vape. Here are a few ways Contra Casa Health Plan can help. Check out our health education website, which offers a wide range of topics, resources, and self-management tools. Just visit healthed.cchealth.org. Contra Costa Health Plan also offers a CalAIM asthma home remediation program. This program provides help and supplies to people who are dealing with asthma-related issues. You may get a home assessment and some minor fixes to help with asthma triggers in your home. You may get things like ventilation improvements in your home, air filters, dehumidifiers, and filtered vacuum cleaners. 
So what you can do is you can talk to your primary care provider, your case manager, or other healthcare professional about a referral. You or your caregiver can also call member services at 877-661-6230 under option two. And member services are available Monday to Friday from eight in the morning to five in the afternoon.